This is going to be very interesting. Getting lost in Venice, literally. But I'm totally like a lost puppy out here. I don't, I don't, I don't know what to do. <laughs> it's funny now because it's only been 10 minutes, but we'll see what happens. Good morning from the rooftop of our Airbnb here just outside of Venice. We're actually staying directly across from the main train station. For $60 per night, we get one bedroom and one bathroom. I wouldn't exactly call that affordable, but it does offer a lot of convenience. We're almost done getting ready. We're gonna head out, find some breakfast, and then head into the floating city. It is 7.30 a.m. on a Saturday in June, and we are in Venice, Italy. You guys are going to see more people in our videos today than I think you've ever seen before. Although Amber said that our place wasn't exactly affordable and it is more than we've paid at most places, it's probably the cheapest within reason from the train station and that was our goal. And in order to save a little bit more money, we're gonna grab breakfast before we head into Venice. The main idea behind today's video is showing you guys exactly what Venice looks like in the middle of summer during peak tour season. And as always, we're gonna to try to do it at an affordable price. It is so quiet over here. Really makes me wonder if everybody's just already in Venice or there's just not as many people here as we thought. Got a little croissant. Got a big croissant. I got a pistachio one, I got a green, got an espresso, and we got a cappuccino and another different croissant. This was five euro. This is a very typical cost of what you can find. These types of things, coffee is usually about a euro, euro 50. And Pretty these good. are really good. At 7.30, nobody was out on this street. 7.50, there's a lot of people. That's crazy. We're actually staying in Mestre, which is about one train stop away from Venice. So we're gonna grab a train ticket for a Euro 40, take a 10 minute train ride, and then we'll be in the city. Now these are actual train tickets. They're not like a Metro, so you do have to get on your particular train that you purchase. So pay attention to the time. There is not a single person on our platform right now. I think our train's 15 minutes delayed. We're gonna grab another coffee. Getting a macchiato. I don't know if you could tell by our faces this morning, but we needed this extra coffee. It's been a long couple of days, and it's gonna get even longer because we leave tomorrow morning at 6 a.m. for Helsinki. This cappuccino, his macchiato, 260 from the train station. From the train station. Not that bad. I'm very happy to say that even at the airport, they're not like price gouging you. You can get a sandwich for five bucks and you'll be satisfied. Oh, nice train. Windows too. Those coffees kicked in a lot faster than expected. As soon as we got to the train station, we needed to find a bathroom. It costs one euro for each of us, so always carry a change on you because you're more than likely going to need it. This is one of the best exits from a train I've ever seen. This is the nicest entrance out of a train station I've ever seen. That's it. It's incredible. Truly does not disappoint. No. Just like the pictures you see all over the internet. We got here at 9 a.m. This morning went just a little slower than we anticipated, but it's already pretty busy. That's okay, because that's what we expected. We don't actually have a set itinerary for today. Everything I read online just says when you get here, get lost. Like, wander. You don't have to have set destinations, so we're just gonna walk around. The things that you should do, however, are certain things that you need to eat and drink, and we will do those today for sure. Those are definitely research and plan. Not only do they have narrow streets, but they have like these tunnels that are so cool. 
Some are way shorter than this, too. You just never know what they open up to. It's a little courtyard, and the tunnel keeps going. I'm very impressed with how touristy this place is, but you can still find nooks and crannies that you're by yourself, and it's quiet. It's nice. Do they say you should get lost? I think it's going to happen regardless of if you want it to or not. Venice may be known as the floating city, but it actually doesn't float at all. It's built on top of over 10 million tree trunks, and that is the foundation that supports the city from sinking into the marsh below. You could literally shake hands with your neighbors if you wanted. Oh yeah. If you've ever wondered if this city is actually sinking, it is. The weight of the buildings is so heavy that it sinks just a little bit every single year. Building a city on top of water may not have been the best long-term decision, but it did provide the original settlers with the exact protection they were looking for. When invaders tried to come in, the marsh actually exposed them to disease that they were not prepared for. The Venetians, however, knew exactly how to take care of that disease. To be completely honest, we weren't overly excited to come here. One, because of the people, the heat, the prices, but it's also so touristy that we just try to avoid places like this. It is so worth it. Yeah. It is beyond impressive. Like, it's much more than just the pictures you see online. It's very beautiful. How early is too early to have a spritz in Italy? I'd say it's about time. I think it should go by how early you've been up. We've been up for five hours. It's true. Right? As luck would have it, the place that we wanted to eat at happens to be right around this corner. which is Venetian tapas. This is Venetian food. It comes in smaller, bite-sized places like this. You've got brie and mushroom, a cod salad, a spicy salami, and then another mixture of spicy meat. So excited. Amber ordered the mushroom and brie, so I'm gonna go for the spicy. The best cured meat ever. Good spice. Oh yeah. We'll get an exact price, but I think each one of these is two euro piece. This is the brie and mushroom. The brie is really good and creamy. It's great. This is the cod salad. I like this one. Got some green onion in it. That's not too fishy at all. That's a, that's a good one. Last but not least, spicy salami. Not super spicy, but second favorite. Actually, it is really spicy. Yeah, I was just gonna say it. That's pretty spicy. God, it was still my favorite. That was good. Now it's time to see how much it all costs. Well, it's a little less than we expected, so that's always great. That was $17.50 for the wine and for, uh, what do you call it? Tapas, Venetian <laughs> style. Chiquetti. One thing to look out for when you are dining anywhere is coperto. A lot of times you will be charged per person just to sit down and that's basically their tip. That place however did not have coperto which well, made it a little bit cheaper. Oh Maybe it's just hot out but some people look miserable on these gondola rides. Kind of funny. How much for 80 euro. 80 per person or total? All together. Together. Okay. Thank you. A gondola ride is 80 euro per boat. You can have up to five people in each boat. 
a lot more affordable than I actually thought. There is a cheaper option, and that's public transportation. You can take these boats for €7.50 anywhere down the Grand Canals, and I think all the way to the airport. That's, that's a pretty good deal, actually. This amount of people is not too bad. Still tolerable. Wow. This is the busiest and most touristy spot. So let's go see if we can get lost and find someplace quiet and empty. I bet we can. It's time to find an Eperol Spritz. I really can't believe how many people are here and how easy it is to find an alleyway all to yourself. That is so cool and beautiful. It's really not that hard. We're just wandering and we find them. If Nathan's research pays off, we may be heading to the cheapest spritz on the island. Is this an island? If you choose to ride a gondola, be fully prepared that all the tourists will be taking pictures of you. The ones that are too cheap to take on themselves, like us. Cheapest Avril Spritz, maybe. They were three euro, and this place is on TripAdvisor, so it's no secret. And we also got a Cristini and a Polpette. This is Venice's signature drink. Spritz was created right here in Venice, so it's actually cheaper here than anywhere else in Italy. The Aperol Spritz is made of Prosecco wine and a bitter, either Aperol or Campari, and sparkling water. I read that this drink was created during the Austrian invasion. Austrians didn't like Venetian wine because it was too strong and they started adding water to it. Well, the Venetians thought that was garbage, so they spruced it up with sparkling water and bitter. Now we have the spritz. I think that means we're good to go, so... Wow! Party happening behind us, but we got to go. To go. I will say one of the coolest parts about this place is that there is a gondola making. What do you call that? A gondola creation station. <laughs> That's where they build them. Mm, yes. Gondola creation station. Some days we definitely have to plan out how to see a city. But I truly believe this is one of those places where you don't need to research ahead of time. Just show up, walk around, and you will not be disappointed. This may be a dead end. Look at that building. I know. This is like the best Instagram spot, and we just happened to find it. That's amazing. We're learning that the dead ends are sometimes the best. Get a spritz to go, find a dead end, sit and watch the canals. It doesn't really get better than that. Yeah. This is very nice. Apparently if you're cute and you go to a nice enough hotel, they'll let you use your bathroom for free. I just said, hey, is there a nearby public restroom? No, no, but you can use our one upstairs. Okay. <laughs> it's perfect. Something I've missed is going into churches. Most of them are closed, but this door is open, so we're gonna check it out and we hear some very beautiful music coming from it. We saw people inside, so we're pretty confident we should be able to get into. Conservatorio de Musica. So maybe it's not a church, it's like a music... Music conservatory. All right, sounds good. Look at that, we just walked right in. There's no plaques or anything, so it's not like you have a lot of information when you arrive, but it's still pretty beautiful. I'm enjoying myself. That was nice. 
pretty relaxing. I really love classical music. I could listen seriously to this music all day long. We just exited the music conservatory. It was free and it was beautiful. And I don't think you could ask for much more. We almost missed it. Wow, look at that building. What is that? The bell tower? No, no, no. The one to the left. Church. Okay. This is going to be very interesting. Getting lost in Venice? Literally. So in order to save money, Amber and I decided that only one person needed a SIM card because I could just use her hotspot. And she went to go find a bathroom and I lost her. I told him, I need to find a restroom. You need to keep up. She told me to keep up and I, I, I didn't keep up. My ADD kicked in. Oh boy. He has no cell phone service. I don't know if I can find free Wi-Fi or just kind of like hope for the best. She'll find me. She'll find me. Not much we can do about it. I still haven't found a bathroom, so that's my number one goal. I will try to find him afterwards. Nathan's gonna be so mad. Amber's gonna be upset. This is totally my fault. I'm sure he's probably a little nervous at this point trying to find me. On the bright side, I'm on San Marco Square. This is San Marco Basilica. It's one of the more beautiful churches I've seen from the outside. It's got the frescoes. That's really nice. That's really cool. I'm not gonna make it inside. I don't know if I'm gonna make it home at this point. But I'm totally like a lost puppy out here. I don't I don't I don't know what to do. <laughs> it's funny now because it's only been 10 minutes, but we'll see what happens. I just paid two US dollars to use a bathroom. Uh, Nathan carries all of our Euro. That's a mistake on our part. This isn't something we've actually discussed before. So I can't decide, do I go back to the last place I saw him? I'm just trying to think the way he would. He would never stay put. He wouldn't. So, who knows where he's at at this point. Hope he's not mad. I'm sure he will be. Okay, this one, this one might be on me. We really are lost without each other. I don't, I don't know what to do. Can't really find free Wi-Fi. It doesn't really exist anymore. I don't know. I see him. He went to the most, like, open center point. Oh my gosh, let's see if he's upset. Nathan, I love you. I'm sorry, but I had to pee. We talked about this video being called uh, Lost in Venice, and I honestly didn't think I'd actually get lost in Venice, but here we are. I'm lost. Looking for food and water and my wife. What are you gonna do? I'm in the middle. I don't know what else to do. Hi! <laughs> You're not upset? <laughs> no. <laughs> I had to pee so bad. I know, and I didn't keep up. I said no. that was. I said, <laughs> I said, I'm so in trouble. Amber said, keep up, I gotta pee, and I didn't keep up. My ADD caught up to me. I, um, I paid two dollars. She goes... You have money? Oh, I got my wallet. Oh. Dollars. It's okay, I had to go that bad. All right. Back in action. I did, um, ask a bar to just, like, use their bathroom, and he goes, hey, you can buy, like, a coffee or something. I'm like... Okay. Would have been cheaper than the two dollars. Yeah, yeah, it, sh it would have been better off like buying a coffee. Stick with me, kid. I'll teach you something. So, keep that in mind next time you have to pee in uh, Venice. There's so many people here. That is the line to get into San Marco Basilica. It's so gorgeous, and it's actually only three euro, but. We only have one day here, so I'm not going to wait in that line. We are now going to go and get some pizza. We are both exhausted. We've had our fun here in the city. We're going to head towards the train station, head back to Mestre, and get some pizza. Because like I said earlier, we are going to Helsinki tomorrow, and we have to be up at 4 for our flight at 6. It's the price you pay for a very cheap flight. Right after tomorrow morning's flight to Helsinki, we will explore as much of the city as we can because we only have a day and a half. If all goes according to plan, we will experience our very first traditional Finnish sauna. Not just our very first traditional sauna, but fully nude sauna. I'm so nervous, like excited, but really nervous. 
are gonna be completely naked in front of strangers. And the best part of all is that you go hang out in the street and drink beer. In your towel. In your towel. <laughs> so if you wanna know how that goes, continue on to the next video. We unknowingly just paid 11 euro for one massive slice of pizza. Either way, I'm too tired to even eat. But we hope you enjoyed getting lost with us literally in Venice. We'll see you tomorrow in Helsinki.